insert 4S battery pack, plug it in. The unit boots up. After a few seconds, it's going to show up as a Wi Fi hotspot. Move over to the computer. I'm going to search for the Voxel hotspot. Click on that guy. The default password is 123. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. It's going to give us a uh, eight, 192.168.8.something, eight dot something, uh, usually 51. Uh, this is our address. The Voxel's address will be um, 192.168.8.8. Dot one. So we're going to log in as the root user. I've connected to this guy already. Um, this IP address already on a different Mac. Uh, move in. Reconnect. The default password is OE Linux one two three. So now we're in here. What we're going to do is configure this vehicle to talk to this ground control station. We could do this via the Voxel Vision PX4 service. I'm going to edit a file. It's under ETC Model AI Voxel Vision PX4. And we want to set the Q ground control IP address to our host system. Uh, we don't know exactly what it will be when you connect up. So sometimes you have to come in here and modify that, or most, most of the time. So we are at 51. I'm going to escape out of there. And save the file. I'm going to restart that service. Vision X4. Manual flight mode. And now we have a connection between this laptop and the Voxel. It will ship. Already tested. Uh, and ready to fly, basically. Uh, what we don't have is your transmitter, so we're going to connect a uh, bind up or pair or bind a transmitter. Uh, we're going to use this, this little guy. It's a Spectrum DXS. We just got this in the mail. It, it's on the um, low end of uh, cost. Uh, it, it functions. Uh, it's a seven channel tra transmitter, so we're going to set, set this guy up. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we'll, we'll power this guy on. This actually uses uh, AA batteries in the back of this guy. Um, and now we are going to come into the radio option. I'm going to do spectrum bind, um, which actually I need to turn this guy off. And then when we bind, we're going to hold this button down as we power it up. So I'm going to click the spectrum bind button and if we select, in this particular case, it's the DSMX seven channels or less. And you saw the LED flash on the GPS mast there. Um, the other thing is the spectrum radio receiver's on the bottom and it's flashing uh, to indicate that it's in the binding mode. So I'm gonna hold the bind button down, turn this guy on. Hold, keep pulling the bind button down. Beep, and the uh, white is solid. The train driving by. Uh, I took my finger off the bind button. So now this our this transmitter is bound to this receiver. 
I'm gonna go through and calibrate the radio now. This is a common uh, thing that I've seen support calls for. Uh, we, what we have to do is after we bind, we have to reset the, ve the vehicle. Uh, we could do that from Q ground control. Uh, there might be an easier way, but I always go to parameters, tools, reboot. Okay, and then we reboot the system. Manual kill switch engaged. I'll come back to radio, calibrate. Next, we'll go press up. So in this case, I am pressing the, the, the sticks all the way up. I'm gonna press the sticks all the way down. Over here, here, and this guy. Cool. Now I'm going to toggle this. Um, the switches. Cool. Next, next, saved. If this was a uh, the DX8, we could use that pretty much out of the box. Uh, what I'm going to do here um, is kind of re remap to this particular guy. Uh, we're gonna offer a file that you could uh, load the parameter file that could ha handle this, but uh, I don't have that yet. So um, I, wanna make, I wanna make this the flight mode. I wanna make this position, uh, manual flight mode, position. Manual off, kill switch disengaged. Off board, but that's not mapped correctly yet. So this manual is kill switch engaged. channel seven on this guy. So I'm gonna go set up channel seven, set this to manual, which is where I'm at right now. Reject position control, position. altitude flight mode, manual kill Off switch board. disengaged, offboard flight mode, reject position control, okay. manual kill switch engaged, manual flight mode. I'm also going to map this guy to a kill switch, and that's channel 5. So I'm going to go channel 5. Manual kill switch disengaged. Mm. Manual kill switch engaged. Cool. So. So what that means is I'm gonna, uh, sometimes we're flying sketchy stuff because we're testing out a lot. So I have the a kill switch button typically or a switch set up and we'll usually do manual flight mode. We're gonna do a position hold Reject mode. Reject position control, which altitude we're be using the, flight the, mode. The uh, tracking camera and the VIO feature and we're gonna use an offboard mode. Offboard flight mode. Which we'll use uh, an offboard program running in Voxel Vision PX4 to fly a figure eight mode. So if you're following along with these mappings, kill switch, and then the uh, mode channel, and start manual off flight with mode. manual. So at this point, that's, I believe, all we need to do. Let's do a sanity check here. I'm gonna look at the horizon uh, and just, my laptop's back here. So I kind of make sure that as I as I pitch and roll and yaw this guy, it's it's functioning uh, with the uh, altimeter display up there uh, correctly. This looks good. We could see that the battery voltage is also good. Slow that down. This up here, looking good. Uh, I could actually at this point do let's arm it real fast using the sticks, uh, we're kill switch disengage. Manual kill switch disengaged. I'm in position, uh, manual flight mode. There's no props, but I'm gonna arm. I could, I could uh, arm it. Armed. Cool, disarm. Disarm. Okay, so that's, that's, that's working as expected. I'm also gonna check one more thing over here in Mavlink Inspector, local position Ned. This is, the location data from VIO from Voxel uh, giving an XYZ in space. So what I'm gonna do is do a little sandy check where I kind of walk in a box. So what I'm gonna do is move the vehicle up a meter. I should see negative one and Z. I'm gonna move forward a meter. I should see positive one and X. And I'm gonna move to the right one meter and then see that I moved Y 
one meter. So you can see it kind of walked in a box of one, one, one. And if I move back to where I started off, we're roughly at zero, zero, zero. So that's showing me that the uh, tracking camera and VIO is working, working nicely. Uh, at this point, we should be able to do a little manual flight. So um, let's do that. I'm gonna go get safety goggles. Props on. The props come in the box. They have uh, two with these little the black stickers and two with the silver, not stickers, but you'll see. And then the matching silver and black. Silver. I usually put these on the wrong way first. Slide down, turn on. There's no safety switch. We have that uh, configured, uh, not, not enabled. So the, the switch on the, G, the GPS does, does nothing. Um, if you need to enable it, we have documentation on how to enable it, but generally we have it turned off. So, I'm going to get behind our net over here and do a little manual flight. So I'm just going to arm the vehicle, take off and land. And I'm in position mode. Um, manual kill switch engaged. Manual kill switch disengaged. Engaged. Position flight mode. Manual flight mode. Take off. Arm. Disarmed. Just landed. Disarmed. Looking good. I'm gonna. Come back inside the net, over to my laptop. Look at this data again. I, looks like I landed about a, a half meter forward. That seems accurate. So this, this data seems sane to me. So I'm gonna try uh, now the uh, position hold mode. Position flight mode. And this caught me off guard the first time uh, I used this feature. And in order to take off, you have to go about 50% throttle. Uh, so I'm going to get out of the net and take off. Armed. Now. Don't do that at home. Disarmed. Uh, the last feature we could show will be the figure eight mode using the offboard control. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start off in position mode, which I just was in. Uh, I'm gonna fly. What what the algorithm will do is fly a meter and a half above takeoff point, and then start doing a figure eight while in position mode or in offboard mode. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off in position mode, fly roughly to where I started, and then kick it off uh, by dropping the switch from position down to off, offboard. Armed. All right. Offboard flight mode. Position flight mode. Disarmed. Disarmed. And that's it.